Paloma seed going in this morning. This is the seed we've got from FBN. This is a 1.4 maturity soybean. Did really, really well in our area last year. <laughs> all the other beans that we're planting this year that's the program that we've taken on for the last couple of years when it comes to our genetics this is as i said through fbn farmers business network delivered right to the farm so we didn't have to run and grab it it all came right here and we were able to store it in the shop we've got 220 units of this specific soybean that as i said did really well last year so we're hoping for another good year with it. Regarding the bad seed in the last video, what we did was we emptied the seed tender actually into these totes here. So all the seed that was bad in that tender is in these totes. That was not an F2F or an FBN Paloma bean. That's just a box that we happened to put it in. But we've still got maybe 30, 20 to 30 units in the planter. I'm gonna try to plant them out if it's too much of a hassle. We're gonna have to figure out what to do then, but I really, really hope I can just plant those out. Dad's gonna head out spraying. Onyx is gonna follow me to the field, and we're gonna go hopefully get some acres in and not fight with seed plugging in the tubes. And Onyx made it up here in the Farm Utility Razor R Turbo 1000. Every farm needs one. I would actually recommend a ranger if you're looking to get any work done, but if you're looking to have a lot of fun, there's another option. Just gonna eyeball everything on my way by here. Make sure everything looks all right. Everything looks good to me, other than the seed issue. It was planting good last night. Oil's good. Let's hope this stuff feeds through and I can get it out of there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll have to go back and watch the last video and see where I was having some big issues with dirty seed, like chunks of halfway rotten or high moisture seed, like smaller than a golf ball, but big enough to get plugged up in the tubes going into the, the uh, supply hoses that go to the row units. So we're gonna try and get that out of there and be done with it and then get some clean seed back in here. Well, first I'm gonna plant the Palomas, those FBN beans that are in the tender, and then, then we'll get more back here. It's a cycle. We plant a dozen different varieties every year. So far, it's going good. No issues. A little hilly on this field, so I gotta slow it down sometimes. We don't quite have the power to get up these hills at eight miles an hour. Well, that went unexpectedly well. I've got the tanks completely empty now. I planted them until there were rows that were skipping and then I even actually dumped the tanks. There was only just a few handfuls in there. Dumped them, shoved them in the ground, they're empty. Nice and clean. showed up now. We got everything moving here. There he goes. All right, back to work. Things are moving. It's not real sunny out today, but it, geez, it's warm. Got the kid out here working today. That's why he had to catch up on his homeschool yesterday so he could be out here helping us out. It's been a couple hours and I feel the need the need for seed. See what I did there? It's like a like a Top Gun reference, but but just for bean seed instead of like fighter jets. It's it's similar. I thought it was pretty good. I'm proud of myself. This again. I'm full now. I forgot to turn the camera on. I was too busy loading seed. Real farmers don't need to worry about cameras and YouTube and such while they're trying to work. Well, we got this field done. That's another. Uh, 70 acres down since I turned the camera on last anyway this whole field's 252 but 
honestly, it's just been kind of a boring day. Everything's been going pretty good. Onyx is gonna hop out of the roller. He's gonna take the rock picker home. I'm gonna fold this up so it's folded when the next person gets here to take it home. He's got homework to catch up on, so he's gotta bring the faster tractor home right now and get going. I got a three or four acre corner to plant on my way home with that tractor. And I honestly have not even driven this thing yet this year. So we'll see if I can remember how to fold this up. So I've got it up. I need to unhook the cylinders, but they're kind of locked. Go well, that way, there we go. Got the outer wheels turned, I think. All I gotta do is drive forward now. A little different to get in a tractor with tires on it after sitting in that thing so many hours. All right, that's done. Hopefully I get to run that in the next couple days when we finish up soybeans. Hopefully I can get out in a field to actually run that thing. I've kind of been the lone planter guy the last couple of years, which is fine, but keeps me out of stuff. I'm another 44 acres into the day and it's still pretty boring. Sorry, but I don't mind. I haven't had to, I won't say it until I'm done here for the day. Well, that does it for this field. It's gonna do it for the night. Jim's also finished with the roller, but I shouldn't have said it or thought about saying it. I was gonna say I haven't even had to fix anything. Now I've got a hydraulic leak. Don't know if it's a hose, a fitting, I don't know what it is. I know the area it's in, and it's a big mess. And I knew about it for the last round and a half. And I wanted this field finished. So now, we'll drive home, try to figure out what it is, and I suppose fix it tomorrow. We have to unfold this thing in order to see where the leak is, and I'm thinking I'd rather check it tonight than tomorrow. I doubt we're gonna fix it tonight. It's about nine o'clock, but It'd be nice to know right away in the morning what we need, what we're dealing with. So the leak is on the back in the center. Behind the box, the box? Behind, no, like right underneath them. Oh. Kind of on that, remember where we had a leak one other time before on that, where all those valve bodies are on the hitch? It's coming out of the back of that. Back of the valve body? So it's real hard to see where exactly it's coming from. That's what I'm thinking, which hydraulic turns it on, and then we can, if we can figure out where it's coming from, we can pull that top off that valve body. It's gonna be a mess. You want me to run the tractor or watch the valve? You could run the tractor, I guess. Okay, which hydraulic? Uh, one, one, three, and four. All three of them? No, do, do one, one at a time and figure out which one it is. Okay. Everything back here is an oily mess but it's worth on, worse on the other side. It's coming from back here somewhere, but there's a lot of things back here. I can't even move any of those hoses to see. They're all rigid because they go in right there. I'm trying to get work done and look at these guys. I thought you were gonna run the hydraulics. Oh, I'm waiting for you to get ready. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I got done. But it was spraying a mess everywhere, so I was driving fast. Keep them down! <laughs> Why are they running so slow? We didn't have the control box on plant. Now I can see it's it's changed since I was in the field. Coming up right back there from somewhere. I think it's this line right here. I think it's above that. Is it above that? Yeah, come to this side once. So there's a little uh, plug in the back of a great big valve body on the back of that hitch under those tanks. There's actually, there's a couple of them. I imagine they're there for options that we don't have on this planter that we're not using, but 
you can see, I believe I can see the O-rings uh, blown out of one of them, the O-ring blown out, so it's never good to blow your O-ring. I think as long as the hydraulics are not on, there's not pressure on that O-ring, on that plug, so it's gonna be messy either tonight or in the morning. I'd rather be able to go in and change now rather than become an oily mess right away in the morning, which I might anyway, because we won't have, probably won't have an O-ring until then. We have a couple O-ring kits. Maybe we'll get it back in there. Uh, I guess you could. More than, more than a light, I need I need all these hoses out of my way. Yeah, that, There's I about know. a million of them. Ain't that a son of a bitch all, in there? All in the way. Yeah. If I can get a wrench on it, I'll never be able to turn it. Oh, God. How do you wipe this out so I put it back in. Higher than this? Well, yeah, number one doesn't raise it lower, huh? It's up as high as it goes right now when it's in plant mode. You gotta fold it to get it any higher. You but if what? it wouldn't go down and in one either when you push the lever forward. Four bolts, we could take this off. That won't, that won't really do much though, Jim. Won't it? Not much. And it's a pain in the ass to get it back on because all the hoses push against it. Wow, well, yeah, <laughs> I suppose, but if you can't get it, what do you Well, I haven't tried enough yet. Oh. I'm not to that, I'm not to that level of desperation yet. Okay, it's bigger than that, I think. Which I can't ones? really see it either, so it's hard to. Yeah, I know, it's a bit to see in there. Oh, it's turning. Is it? Yeah, with that O-ring blown out, it's not even tight. Good. Now, if I can get it most of the way out and then drop it in the gravel, it would be. Yeah, well, that's par for course. There must not be pressure on it because it's out. Oh, good. There's the two sizes that it's not. But now you got to uh, get an O-ring and get, get it back in. Yeah, where the hell are you going to? Well, we got a new O-ring put on there. I got it put in. Dad's going to fire up the tractor. We're going to see if it <laughs> still leaks. Hopefully this fixed it. It's an oily mess, but if it fixed it, it fixed it. You can you can clean oil with hot water and pressure. Nothing yet. We are all good. No leaks. That was an easy fix. It's just messy. Hopefully it hangs in there. Here's uh here's the old one. I don't know if you can tell by the way it is or not, but for anyone that's ever looked at an O-ring, you know that they're there's supposed to be a lot more of an O than that. Well, that's it. Cat dog and I say goodnight. Come here, cat dog. Say it for real to the camera. Say goodnight. Say, okay. Well, your friend is here. <laughs>